Hello. Today I'm going to be streaking for isolation. So right here, I have my yeast colony already incubated, and I have circled the colony that I'm going to um, streak for isolation in. It's right here. Before I started this video, I washed my hands, and this is a dedicated set of clothes that I use for doing my experiments. Okay, first thing that I'm gonna do is open up the packet of needles that I keep in my refrigerator so it doesn't get contaminated with bacteria. I'm gonna take one inoculating needle out. Well, I'm gonna use the inoculating loop side to streak for isolation. So I'm gonna be careful not to touch much the loop. I have already separated the sections out. It just helps me. So I already set, separated the sections out so I can strip for isolation. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my inoculating loop. And because I just took it out, um, I don't, I'm not going to watch it or anything. Um, I'm going to take my inoculating loop. And carefully, I'm going to just touch the colony that I want to streak for isolation on. I have touched the colony. Now I'm going to start at the first section and open it, you know, by the side and just make sure to get get a good portion of it right there and be being careful not to mess up the agar. I like to do it a lot on the first one because there's a lot of um, it's a lot of yeast when you first touch it. So now I dig in a little bit on the side and now I do it on the second section. Now repeat that with the third section coming from the second section. Finally, in the fourth section. And I am done. Now I'm going to dispose of this properly by leaving it in bleach for 24 hours and then later on throwing it out. Same with this colony after we're done and we'll see our results in about a day or two after incubating. Thank you.